What up, guys? Today, we have another post from the Neville subreddit, and this one is called How Sats Are Easy, posted by Fad70 one day ago. I've manifested some amazing things, big things only because for smaller ones, I have never tried. I've also been miserable trying to get it right. It has been trial and error. Now the point, what I've come to realize is that the journey of the inner man, the internal journey, whether it's sats or any other technique, it's all very similar to the external journey. What do humans do when they fall or have an accident or face failure? They say it will get better and continue with life. During sats, the biggest problem I face and faced is doubt. Am I doing it right? Will this work? How about I try another way? In every successful manifestation, I said it will get better and continued. And it did get better. All the failed manifestations, I got lost in doubts and either never continued or continued with doubts and failed. So just continue thinking it will be, get better. Neville said that if you stray 70 times, come back 71 times. So there's some comments here. But, you know, my own comment on this is, like I said in a previous, in my previous video, I've come out here, I'm in Arizona right now, and a lot of things that, um, in regards to like, relationship wise, a lot of things that I have been had, you know, had not had success with, success with previously. Like this guy says, trial and error. Um, I've been miserable trying to get it right. I can relate to that um, in various areas, but specifically with this area, I'm having success with it now. And success on a level that is, You know, it, it almost because I've stayed strong, because I've stayed strong in what I believe I deserve, the level of success that I'm experiencing, it might be outside of certain people's realities. Um, but for me, it's not because I've stayed the course. I've stayed strong in terms of what it is that I believe I deserve, what it is that I know that is possible in this reality. And I believe that that is a great example. It's like you keep staying strong. And of course, not every moment of every day are you going to feel completely in alignment with the end goal or with the end manifestation. But the more that you are able to, like this person said, come back 71 times when you stray 70 times, um, and keep thinking it will get better, but you have to really feel, really believe it will. You can't just be re reciting that like a parrot. Um, I don't know. I think that I think that it works. It's worked for me. So, anyways, guys, um, let me know what other topics you guys want me to cover. I really appreciate all the all the subscribers lately. A lot of people have been commenting on my Sammy Ingram affirmation rampage. Um, which is great because when I released that video, I was like, you know what, this is a good example of a rampage and I hope that people see this um, because I really want to inspire you guys to be able to do your own. I, I, like I said, whatever you want to call it, a conviction drill, affirmation rampage. It's really, really good to get you back on track into that state. Let's say that you've fallen off the wagon 71, 70 times or whatever it is. That'll help you get back on. It really will. It really, and you don't, it, when you do it and when you're in the moment, when you're recording yourself or even just in the car, wherever, you won't allow your mind to come in through the back door because you're just, you're just emitting that energy constantly during that time that you're doing it. And so there's no room for those doubts or any, any of those things to come in. And that's why it's so powerful. You're not allowing any of that to come in at all. For those two, three, ten, however long that you're doing it, that video is like 15 minutes of me doing that straight. If you can do that for 10 or 15 minutes, and you are able to do that, um, and if you start doing that like multiple days in a row, or if you start doing that every day, imagine how much that's going to change. You're imprinting your subconscious 
with these new beliefs, these new intentions, and you're not allowing any of that shit to creep in. Yeah, during the day it might a little bit, but for those 10, 15 minutes, none of it gets in. And that's what's so dope about it. Anyways, guys, I love you guys a lot. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see videos wise, and I will see you guys soon.